Got some breaking news coming to you out of Tehran. The Iranian state television is reporting right now as we speak that the supreme leader Ali Khamenei is supporting, looks like he's supporting this deal. He's expressing his thanks and appreciation to Iranian negotiators on this nuclear deal. So while uh, a lot of Americans are hesitant, uh, including a lot of Democrats, are hesitant right now about what they should think regarding this new deal, nuclear deal with Iran, we do know that the supreme leader in Iran seems to be supporting it, expressing his appreciation to Iranian negotiators. All right, Gary Smith is the president of Kadena Group. Leslie Marshall is a radio talk show host and Fox News contributor in Los Angeles. And you know, I, I'm curious, guys, as we look ahead to 2016, I think this is going to play an increasingly important role, this deal with Iran. Here you are in a situation where the Iranian supreme leader is expressing his thanks, while you have a lot of Democrats, even Democrats on Capitol Hill, Gary, saying, we need to wait and see and read this cover to cover first. Yeah, I, I guess the, the good news for the Democrats is the average American is not going to get past the word deal. And deal always sounds great. It sounds like you're out there working. You were talking. You were rubbing shoulders. And we got a deal. And that's, that's kind of the Democratic brand. Now, the good news for the Republicans is it's a deal with the devil. I mean, just look at the laundry list of everyone who likes it. Russia, Syria, <laughs> Iraq. Boy, all our buddies like it. I think all the Republicans buddies. can spin this so that they made a deal and it was a dumb one. Well, and, you know, just to, to your point about the word deal here, uh, you know, when you're doing a deal with a country that still does not recognize Israel, that uh, sponsors terrorism and is responsible for thousands and thousands of deaths, all over the globe. Leslie Marshall, I mean, look, I, I know you're more on the liberal side. You're a liberal radio talk show host, but you got to admit, it's leaving a lot of liberals even asking the question, is this what we want right now? Well, no question. There are a lot of people out there, myself included, have issues of trust with this country and issues of trust with this deal. But this isn't the United States alone who did this deal. Uh, these are six superpowers. We have our defense secretary going to Israel uh, next week uh, to talk with the prime minister there uh, to assure him that our number one ally in the Middle East, Israel, is of the utmost concern and protection. And they wanted well, to make that clear. I, 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 don't, I, guess, I don't think I don't think it's going to I don't think it's going to hurt any Democrat quite frankly, though, in the upcoming election, because, you know, it, it's a lifetime between now and then. It will it will have to see if something negative happens. Uh, and certainly uh, if the deal even goes through, depending on Congress, because like you said, they want to wait and read it. And there are some Democrats that are not comfortable with this, but I'm not sure if it's enough to override a presidential veto. Yet we did hear from Hillary Clinton. I believe we have some sound we can play. Uh, no, forgive me. It's a quote that we can uh, share with you of her expressing her support. Hillary Clinton uh, basically saying that she thinks that uh, President Obama did an excellent job on all of this negotiation and this is an important step. President uh, called me last night, she said, I applaud him. Based on what I know, this is an important step in putting a lid on Iran's <laughs> nuclear program. I, you know, look, the president admitted, and we played the sound earlier in the show, he admitted back on April 6 that once you get beyond year 10, you're in uncharted territory, and by year 13, 14, and 15, basically, they could put a bomb together, Gary. Yeah, I, I agree. I love how Hillary, by the way, couched it with, based on what I know. It gives her a lot, a lot of wiggle room, because later on she's going to say, oh, I didn't know that was in there. Oh, and now it's a bad deal. But the point is, you know, it does give uh, uh, Iran a lot of opportunity, I think, to develop harm for us. And, you know, the other point you made, or I think Leslie made, it says, oh, my gosh, we got all these other superpowers behind it. Yeah, none of them are as hated and despised uh, like we are by Iran, a country that wants to blow Israel, our good ally, back to the Stone Age. Again, I think the Republicans can keep making this an issue if, as Leslie implies, it just doesn't kind of fade away. Um, so, so what do they need to do, Gary, Leslie? Gary first. All right, what do they, the, the Republicans keep, keep uh, going into the details on this, why it's bad, what harm can occur in year 10 through 15? 
Leslie? Gary, I think, you're do I think you're doing exactly what Republicans will do and has worked for Republicans, which are fear tactics. The reality is <laughs> the, uh, the missile reach for Iran does not reach the United States. Although the missile reach does reach Israel, with the amount of nuclear weapons Israel has, if Iran were to attack Israel tomorrow, it's suicide. Israel will wipe them off of the planet within 12 minutes, I give it. And, and, and nobody's going to do that because you know what? These politicians over there, just like our politicians here, have egos. They want re-election. They want to get the credit. And certainly, certainly the leaders of Iran right now want to take the credit for what they feel they've done for their people, which the majority of are educated youth. We have to keep that in mind. All right, Leslie, good to see you. Thanks for joining us along with David. Thank Coming up, everyone.